Good morning, Mapleton Online. Here are your morning announcements with me, Jana scarpella Straub. Today is Tuesday, November 14th, 2023. And today in history, six-year-old Ruby Bridges became the youngest of a group of black students to desegregate schools in the South. She was chosen to attend William France Elementary School in New Orleans, and as the first black student at the all-white school, she was escorted to school by a group of U.S. Marshals, while adults shouted at her and held racist signs. Parents didn't want her in class with their kids, so she was taught all by herself in the principal's office. Even though it was probably very scary and isolating for her, Ruby stayed at the school the entire year, and the next year she was no longer the only black student. Her bravery had inspired others to join her in desegregating the school. Ruby Bridges is still alive today. She has written books for both children and adults about her experience, and she has worked through her life to support unity and tolerance in schools. Other people have also written about her, and the artist Norman Rockwell painted her in one of his most famous paintings, The Problem We All Live With. Ruby's story is proof that individual people can make a difference in the world, even when it's scary, by following what we believe in and persevering through hard times. Today's weather will be nice with a high of 69 degrees, and tonight will be generally fair with a low of 34. Four score and seven years ago, sorry, wrong speech. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mapleton Reads is going on now. You can join the shared reading experience by borrowing a book from Skyview Campus or the Administration Building, or by downloading the ebook or audiobook using your library card and the Libby app. If you have not treated out your Chromebook yet, you should consider doing so. The new computers are more powerful, and they've been greatly reducing the problems a lot of students have been having. If you are still using one of the old computers and technical difficulties are affecting your ability to attend class and learn, Please go to the administration building this week and trade it for a new one. Our first content creator club meeting for students in grades 6 and up is today at 3.30 p.m. Send me a message if you're interested and I'll send you the link. The Mapleton District Science Fair is coming up in early March. Any Mapleton Online student who is interested in participating in our school and district fairs should contact the Science Fair coordinator, Mr. Graham, through Teams, or at gramss at mapleton.us. There will be an informal meeting in the week of December 4th, and students will have time to work on their projects over winter break for our own science fair in February. Please contact Mr. Graham with any questions. Have you joined Raise.me yet? Raise.me is a microscholarship platform where individual schools offer awards to students who meet certain criteria. The rewards are small, but they add up over time. So far this year, Mapleton Online students have earned over $50,000. All high school students can sign up. If you're interested in joining or have any questions, please talk to your advisor. Once you have your Raise.me account set up, be sure to go into your settings, click Privacy, and select Share with Teachers. This will ensure that your earnings are reflected in our school totals. We love to recognize students for scholarships, awards, college acceptances, and other accomplishments. So remember to let your teachers know what's going on in your life. We would love to be part of celebrating your successes with you. I am currently accepting senior pictures for inclusion in the yearbook and senior spotlight this spring. Please submit them to me no later than December 17th. You can email them to me or send them to me through Teams. Our word of the day is enigma. An enigma is like a mystery. It's a person or thing that is puzzling or unexplainable. You could use it in a sentence like, that guy is an enigma. I can't figure him out at all. This week, in addition to your artwork, schoolwork, videos of you saying the Pledge of Allegiance, and the usual things, I'd love to hear about your family traditions. You can even send me a picture. Email me at scarpellaj at mapleton.us or send me a message on Teams and you might see yourself on morning announcements. That's all I have for you today. Thank you and have a great day.